here for the kitties, huh? <laughs> I suppose we do have a lot of cute cats here. They're all quite friendly. In fact, many other customers are here for the same reason. After all, there aren't many places in Mondstadt where you can just relax and interact with friendly cats. Huh. I've never seen such a bunch of arrogant and stubborn cats. I don't understand why people like them so much. Besides, shouldn't the main purpose for going to a tavern be drinking without getting cat hair in your beverage? What kind of reason is that? So long as they're cute, nothing else matters? Well, judging from the customers, that seems to be the case. <laughs> See? This traveler is here for the cats as well. However, you've come at a most unfortunate time. Our cats seem to have snuck out to play somewhere. If you're willing to wait, Dione here should be able to bring them back shortly. Huh? When did I agree to go fetch those little troublemakers? Consider it a task straight from tavern management. Besides, the cats are quite fond of you, so you're the natural pick for the job. <sighs> They're probably just bored and wandering off to get people's attention. Is that so? <laughs> well, anyway, it'll be up to you to bring them back here. Oh, and didn't you say that you're here to see the kitties? If you're up for it, perhaps you could accompany Diona to retrieve them. Maybe after interacting with them for a bit, the cats will get to know you and seek more of your attention. The three cats that snuck out are Roger, Nelson, and Paisley. Diona, you usually take care of them, so you should be quite familiar with these three, right? Ugh, them again. And they even dare to sneak out during working hours. <sighs> Don't they have any sense of duty as tavern cats? Come on, not every kitty can be as reliable and caring as you, Diona. I am not a cat! Whatever. So all we have to do is bring them back to the tavern, right? Well, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's scurry out of here. They love wandering around the center of town, so let's check there first. I'll leave you to it. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on things here at the tavern. Once you've found the little rascals, please bring them right back. Hmm, their tracks end here. Looks like they ran off somewhere else. Ugh, don't worry. Those cats are very stubborn. But it's because they're stubborn that they're also easy to understand. <laughs> I have another idea. Let's pay a visit to Marjorie at With Wind Comes Glory. Roger broke his cat toy recently and I ordered him a new one there. Maybe he snuck out because he didn't have anything to play with. I know these things because I want them to do their job and not mess around. Come on, let's head over to Marjorie's store. Oh, hello, Diona. You must be here for the cat toy you ordered. I just finished preparing it and made it extra durable according to your request. Your kitty should be able to play with this one for quite some time. Much appreciated. Margaret will come and settle the fees later. No problem. So, that cat named Roger, is he usually at the cat's tail? <laughs> That's right. He's almost always in the tavern. Wonderful. I'll definitely make some time to head to the tavern and play with him. Oh, I see. Well, you're welcome to visit any time. I gotta say, you're awfully particular when it comes to taking care of that cat. <laughs> you even provided me a list of materials to use for his cat toy. Well, that's just because Roger tends to get excited whenever he plays with the customers. He always ends up ruining his toy. This time, we needed to make it more durable so that it would last longer. He usually just lounges on the cabinets when no one's around. You really think so? <laughs> well, I'm not interested in figuring out what those cats are thinking. They're just stubborn. That's how all cats are. Let's head over to Sarah at Good Hunter. She always makes Nelson's cat food. He's the one that always eats the most. And even though he's always eating, he somehow weighs the lightest. <sighs> I really have no idea what he's up to all the time. Welcome to Good Hunter. Oh, hey, Diona. How can I help you? Hello, Sarah. I'd like some more of that cat food I bought last time. 
Oh, is my favorite kitty Nelson hungry again? <laughs> Hold on one moment. I'll have the kitchen prepare it for you. Alright, here's the cat food. It hardly takes any ingredients to make, so it's on the house. <gasps> but please, if you can bring Nelson with you next time, everyone wants to pet him. Sure, I... I'll see if he wants to come. Nelson's not usually very fond of people, but as soon as he smells some dried fish, he'll do anything you say. And once he starts eating, ugh, he doesn't ever stop. Someone has to drag him away from the food. Kinda like the old drunks at the tavern. But the amount of food isn't too much this time, so it'll be fine if he finishes it all. All right, we have all we need for now. Let's go find Roger and Nelson. We'll deal with Paisley later. Roger always likes to sit in high places. Huh. Maybe we should go check the rooftops. Do you know how to get on top of the buildings here? If not, you can just wait down here and I'll take care of it. Really? You don't look like much of a climber, but if you say so, let's go up and look for Roger together. See that cat there? That's Roger. Oh, he really picked a high place to sit this time. But don't get too close. If we startle him, he might run away. <sighs> okay. Remember all the things we prepared? Now is the time to make use of them. So, do you remember what would be better for attracting Roger? Hey, you've got a pretty good memory. That's right. Cat toys are Roger's favorite. Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately. Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is... If Roger's around. Eesh. <laughs> 